What's up YouTube? So today I am back and I'm gonna be doing a little demonstration. So last night I updated my old version air unit, the silver one, to the new firmware that will make it work with the goggles too. And what's different about this is they pretty much put the O3 protocol on the original air unit so that you can use it with the new goggles. I actually do not have, I used to have V1 goggles, but I sold them and I upgraded to goggles too. And we're gonna see what the range, what the penetration, and just kind of compare the video and see how they look today. I have seen a lot of posts on Discord everywhere that say to not upgrade to this new firmware. However, I've upgraded because I want the new stuff and I have the new goggles and I want them to work together. And that's the nice thing about this upgrade is I can use both the air unit with my new DJI. These are the goggles too. They're super small, they're super light, and I love them. And there's also a lot of people that are kind of hating on this because it doesn't work with the original black DJI remote for FPV. However, I have Crossfire, Tango 2 Pro, and I honestly could care less about that. And I know a lot of people are gonna be running Crossfire or ELRS, and it doesn't really matter to them that you can't use the controllers. So we're gonna be doing some flights today. Let's go. So these are the two drones that I'll be using. This is the Shen Drone Squirt with the OG DJI cam, the original air unit in there, and we're running TBS Crossfire. So we got that. And then my second quad of the day is, um, this is the Super G 399 five inch frame. And we've got the new O3 air unit in there and it's got an antenna and we're running Crossfire on the back. And both of these are gonna be ran on 6S. I am at this open spot. I got my car here. I'm gonna be flying right from in my car. And then there's just a bunch of open land, field. There's no one else around. This is a perfect place to fly. <laughs> this is my first flight with the goggles too. I have actually not flown with the O3 air unit. So I'm excited to see what the 1080p will look like. And I'm gonna record the goggle feed and then show you guys what it looks like. I have no words. I just flew my first pack on the O3 air unit with the goggles too. And I thought I was in a video game. Like it did not feel real. The quality 
and everything is insane. It's like flying a 4K GoPro. These screens are only 1080p, but they're OLED and they're 120 hertz and <laughs> it is just unreal. Like I, I think I'm still just processing what I just flew for the first time. It was amazing. Like literally probably the best flight. So I flew over there right by those trees and I was getting a little bit of breakup, but um, I don't have like super good reception. I'm also in my car and that's not amazing, so. All right, I just put my second pack on the 03 air unit in the five inch and it's it's insane. It's so fun, it's so real. It's just like the best FPV flight I've ever done. You can really see all the branches on the trees and stuff and it's really easy to see power lines. I was able to just fly right through them and it was amazing. These quads are not tuned good at all. So that's that, but I wanna get them tuned better. I'm also not flying my GoPro today. I usually do cinematic long range flights and I just don't wanna do that today. I just wanna get this video out. And so next up, I'm gonna fly my Squirt. But one thing is that you have to change, you have to change it from the O3 air unit to the DJI FPV air unit in the goggles. Another thing to note when you set up the O3 air unit and the DJI FPV OG air unit, the silver one, you need to change the auto temp control. You need to turn it off because when the motors are not armed, it'll go down to like five megabits and you won't have very good connection. It'll be super bad video. So you are gonna wanna go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so I finished both test flights with my O3 and my original DJI, and I didn't do like a crazy amazing, super great range and um, penetration test. I didn't fly super far, but I kind of turned around in the same spots, did kind of the same moves to see what my bit rate would be down to and how the goggles felt. So overall, what I can say is they really felt kind of similar with how they handled um, not being able to have perfect line of sight and how they kind of began to break up. Obviously, the DJI V1 um, FPV unit, the air unit, the original, it has like that pixelation on the side and it doesn't look super amazing. And on the O3, it's completely different. You don't even really notice anything. You just kind of see the bitrate go down and there's not really a ton of degradation of image quality. But I did fly kind of on this path going down and I got about the same, I think it went down to about 25 megabits on both of them. I'm flying in high bitrate mode, 50 megabits, and yeah. So in this video, I've got the DJI FPV original air unit, and I start to go down this path. I started around 24, 25 megabits, and I come down, and it kind of just hovers, and it jumps around from 25 to 30 right here. This is the reception, and then this is with the new updated air unit not the o3 the original with the o3 protocol put on 
31. And then I come right through the tree and I get 50 again. And then that's where I'm flying at. So in this video, I've got the O3 air unit. I can get about 25 right when I start, so it's almost exactly the same as the OG air unit. I hover down this path, I kind of fly along it, I'm getting 25 to 35, and then as I go right through the tree again, then I start to get 50. So honestly, there's not that big of a difference that I saw with these tests going from here. I'm super close, I'm not kind of far, and I was just getting that much data rates. But you really can tell a difference with the image quality. The original air unit is only 720p at 120, and the O3 is recording at 1080, 120 in the goggles. And you can really tell a difference. I mean, the difference from 720 to 1080 is huge, and you don't really realize that until you're flying. But all I can say is the new update is really great. The firmware works perfectly. I didn't have any issues, and I had no connection issues. It was great. So what you are seeing on screen is an 800% zoom on the video that came from the goggles of the air unit versus the new O3 air unit. And you can see there's not really a ton of difference, but it's just kind of clear and less muddy on the new one. Okay, so I finished flying all my packs. I only flew four today. It's really cold. I think it's like 36 degrees. And I'm in my car and Good day flying. I think that this new update for the OG DJI Air units and the Goggles 2 is amazing. DJI has provided that backwards compatibility that allows us to be able to do that. Now I know that this gets rid of compatibility with the V1 and V2 goggles if you upgrade. However, you can still downgrade. But honestly, I'm gonna stay on the firmware and everything. It allows me to use all my quads now. I thought this update was gonna come out like in a long time, there's a lot of people that say we don't know when it'll actually happen, but it happened yesterday on December 7th, and it's awesome. So as you can see, I have this antenna, and when I put a battery on here, it does kind of block it. When I go forward and stuff, it's just, it's not the best setup for super amazing range testing. This is kind of just like a five inch basher. And then the same for the squirt, as you can see, the antennas do not go very far. So when you do stuff like this and go kind of far away, the battery and the GoPro will block it in the future. I don't have a GoPro on today, but it does kind of contribute to that. But if I had a lot bigger antennas that really stuck away, I would definitely get some crazy range. I will need to do a lot more testing to see how good they are. But one thing I want to say is that the goggles two screens, they literally feel like you're in a 4K VR game. The difference is amazing. And I could really tell the difference between the OG DJI Air unit and the O3 Air unit. The 1080p versus the 720p is a really big difference and you can truly notice. And so all the videos that I recorded today were straight from the DJI screen. So what I'm seeing is what you guys are gonna be seeing. I didn't record on board on the O3 Air unit. And one thing I will say about these though, is they're super small, but they're harder to kind of adjust and get right on your face. Like it takes a little bit of messing around to get them to fit right. Overall, it was really good. I can't wait to do some more testing and thank you DJI for releasing this update. It's great. 